Hey, welcome to this video. I've had a request from a channel member to help them uh, restore their Windows style for Windows XP. Their icon is missing, uh, so I think they're stuck in classic mode. They may have had some sort of malware or spyware. This is the person here, 911 Truth 1. This is the person that's got the problem. So I'm going to show you a quick video on how to repair that. It's pretty straightforward. First thing you want to do is try to run this uh, registry file. I will put it up in the description so you can actually download it. This is the actual file here, okay, that's got the information on it that's going to try to fix your problem. Okay, there's no malicious stuff in here, it's just purely to help you, so don't worry about that. It's pretty safe to download. And uh, once you run this, it should fix any registry errors or problems that you've got, okay. Now, if the file is missing or corrupted, then this won't work. You may need to swap out the file, and I'm going to show you how to do that part, but you're going to need a Windows XP CD. So this is the actual, run this first, okay? I will put the link up in the description for you. So the next place you want to look, if that doesn't work, is go to C root directory, Windows, and then resources, and this is where all your themes will be, okay? Now you can see Luna's in there, and that's because we've got that selected and you've got Windows Classic Theme and Luna Theme. But if I selected Classic, this would be as it is there. But now we've got Luna. As you can see, Luna.ms uh, styles. That's the one we're going to be using. Okay. So what we need to do, this may have been corrupted. It's a common thing. And where you find it basically is here. This is what the guy's on about. So what happens is sometimes when you've had a malware or spyware, it gets corrupted. And it's when you delete it, it actually messes this up okay so it's a uh, chair to expand so what you need to do is put the actual windows xp cd in the drive okay now you can use this method uh, on a on any theme or anything like that it's only expanding files so we've got our windows xp cd in now we're going to need to go start run and cmd open up that okay and once we get into our command prompt we need to change our actual um, location where we're going to be going so now I know mine is D my my actual CD-ROM drive is D so I want to actually just go like this and change it to my D uh, drive now I'm going to clear the screen so you can see what I'm doing and then from there I need to change directory to i386 now you can actually explore the CD yourself and try and find the file if you want to and drag it out it's up to you but this is probably going to be a lot easier for you okay so now we're into that place where we need to be on the disk what you need to do now is go to your C root directory and make a folder called temp2 or whatever you want to call it temp you know Luna call it wherever you like okay I'm just calling mine temp2 because I've already got a temp folder okay so next thing you need to do is to expand the file okay so what we're going to do here is expand the file so we're going to go expand and we need to go luna.ms underscore c colon backslash and then we need to put temp2 now I need to make sure that I put the capital in there and once I push enter on this it should copy the file from the CD to that temp folder okay so now we've got that done we can now actually close the command prompt down and go to that location. So what we need to do now is let's just uh, close it off. Let it go there, and then there, and then there. There's our file. So what we need to do is let me just open up another. Go back to that location there. Okay. Just so you can see right we need to rename it this name okay this file because it's 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 the wrong name okay so what you need to do is right click on the temp2 folder oh, not right click on the temp2 folder go into the temp2 folder and right click on the file name and rename it that name okay that's the name you need to rename it and it will give you this icon now when you click on this it should open up a little box like so now if you can actually select what you need to select and apply OK then that's good. What you can then do is copy this file 
into the location here okay does that make sense so you need to copy the one in attempt to into your temporary folder for where you've got located your resources okay you need to copy the file inside here right click and paste and it will overwrite this file or there might not be a file there and that's it you're pretty much fixed okay so I hope that solves your problem my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy my videos please subscribe to my channel if you've got any requests like this guy has or any fixes that you need doing give us send us a message or go on the forum better still and post help up there because not many people are using it and uh, I need people to go in there because it's going to be a lot easier. Okay, so thanks a lot for your support, guys. I'm over 1,000 subscribers now, so thanks to everyone who's hit that subscribe button and keep your subscriptions coming. Thanks a lot. I'll be making some more videos in the future. Bye for now.